Hola a todos, tenemos un, eh, un nuevo invitado para una video entrevista de una de las bandas esenciales y de culto en la escena rockera. Estamos hablando de Clutch y tenemos el agrado de estar junto al bajista Dan Mainz, esperando el show que va a presentar la banda en Chile en Club Blondie el 21 de julio. Hello, how are you, Dan? I'm great. I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> Just, uh... Yeah, don't worry. Sorry, just uh, I just had to uh, make a modification to my computer to make this work, but all good. Okay, that's great. And tell me, how are you preparing your first show here in Chile? Uh, we're not rehearsing. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> We are. Um, we're in the kind of in the middle of uh, some deep writing sessions. Um, okay. Yeah, we've been getting together uh, quite a bit, but it's uh, all focusing on new material, trying to write uh, songs for a new for a new album. And um, we'll get together uh, after this weekend. Uh, we'll get together for a bit to to do some rehearsals. We don't really spend a whole lot of time rehearsing, to be honest. Um, we, you know, we like to try to focus on, on new material, but, um, you know, we, we, we uh, did a tour in the U.S. not too long ago, uh, back in April. Uh, so, you know, we're fairly warmed up. I think we're, we'll be good to go. Excellent. And how are these uh, writing sessions? Can you tell me something about it? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, we're just kind of, you know, uh, we, we get together in a studio and we are just recording every single idea that, that we have. Um, if it gets to the point where uh, we've got, uh, you know, two, two parts together that kind of resemble a verse and a chorus and everyone's happy with it, just music wise. Uh, we'll record those ideas and, um, and then we put that aside and, and move on to something else. And uh, we upload those files so that all four of us can, can listen to them uh, at home. And uh, Neil will, We'll take a good hard listen to them and and think about vocal ideas for those parts, and uh, we start piecing together things. Uh, sometimes he'll listen to something from one day that he thinks might work really well uh, with something from the previous week, um, and uh, you know if it requires you know tempo changes or key changes to kind of blend those two parts together you know we'll work on that but um yeah it's uh it's kind of a, a very organic process that um uh right now i would say we have probably about a, a solid 10 uh ideas that you could call songs but um You know, well, they definitely need a little more uh, fleshing out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's exciting. And um, we'll go down to South America for uh, the week's worth of shows and then come back and uh, try to do some more writing uh, before we uh, get into full kind of tour mode, which is summertime. You know, we're heading over to, to Europe for European festivals. And then we have um, a lot of touring that kicks back up in the fall here in the US. So we're trying to get all of our recording or writing done uh, now as, as much as possible. Okay. Say it's going pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And tell me what music, uh, what music inspires you in these days? Uh, anything, everything. Um, you know, we, between the four of us, we kind of draw from a lot of different sources and, um, 
we try to, uh, you know, take those influences, whether it's blues or, uh, you know, something more heavy, doom oriented, or something funky, and just kind of, you know, put it in a blender and create something new out of it. Um, but, you know, sometimes, like the last time we got together, we were thinking, well, let's, let's try to, um, you know, write something uh, up tempo, you know, something above uh, 100 uh, beats per minute. And uh, at the end of the day, we came out with something that was, um, you know, something that, that we all thought was was great. But the tempo was like 70, you know, so it's like you don't always you know you can go in with one idea or one one direction. But at the end of the day, what you end up with could be completely different. Yeah, I guess that's exciting, too. It is. Yeah, you just never know what's going to come out. That's great. And tell me about your last record, Sunrise on Slaughter Beach. What mm -hmm. makes that record special for you? Um, uh, that record, we tried to incorporate um, some different instrumentation, uh, first of all. Uh, we were working with uh, Tom Dalgetty uh, as a producer, and um, uh, he really kind of pushed us to uh, really try to cover as much ground as we could musically within a very small uh, number of songs. So the, the album is a total of nine songs, but I feel like it really covers more ground musically than any other Clutch album that we've put out so far. Um, John Paul has been playing Vibes lately. And so um, there's a track that uh, starts off Vibes. He's playing uh, the vibes on that track. And uh, we we brought in some uh, female backing vocals, which is something we've never done before. Um, you know, it's something that if, it, if we felt like the song called for and it, and it worked, uh, then we we kept it. Uh, if, you know, we, we weren't trying to, uh, you know, we didn't go in with the attitude, well, you know, one of these songs has to have banjo and, you know, we just wrote a song for banjo. It was like, you know, whatever the, the song called for, um, we, were, we were open for that experimentation. And uh, I'm really happy with that record. I think it turned out great. Tom did a great job mixing it. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's one to beat. Yeah. And how do you keep the creativity and the desire to create after all these years? It is harder on how it works. Mm -hmm. Well, the process hasn't changed at all. I mean, the way we get together and write songs is the same okay. as, it's, as it's been since day one. Um, <clears throat> really, it's, I mean, more than anything, it's, it's the creative part of being in the band that really uh, is the most appealing to us. Um, and we love playing live and uh, to be able to, uh, you know, not play the same 20 songs over and over again is very important to us. Um, so uh, we like to be able to switch up our set lists as much as possible. And the more songs you have to pull from, the better. Um, and we try to, you know, not, not uh, when we go out on tour, we try not to just make it uh, 80% whatever uh, materials the newest, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, we just, uh, we really, we thrive on creating. And uh, um, I would say as time goes on, we've kind of gotten to know our style and our process is a little better. And uh, the writing process is, if anything, it's probably easier now than it was uh, starting out. 
Okay. And uh, is there any special way or some recipe for lasting so long with the with the same guys in clutch? <laughs> uh, we share a, a similar desire not to get a normal day job uh, because it's just we 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 missed that window. You know, we we've been doing this since we were 19 years old, and uh, maybe when uh, the opportunity. Uh, when we were younger to uh, move in a different direction and, and learn a new trade, uh, that's long gone. We're stuck where we are. This is what we have to do now because we, we are unqualified to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> that's but, great. Uh, um, no, I mean, we, we um, you know, we feel very fortunate to, uh, to be able to continue doing this and, uh, we're going to do it for as long as we can, you know, if our bodies allow us to do it, we'll do it. Right. And what are your highlights with the band? Highlights. I mean, yeah. Travel. I mean, there's no other opportunity that would afford me a, a plane trip down yeah. to Chile. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, that, the places that, that we've been to, um the you know the people that we meet um that's a rare opportunity and um you know that's that's uh something that i always look forward to you know, believe it or not we've been a band since uh, 1991 and uh we've only been down to south america once and that was back in 2014 i think we did one show in uh i must have been sao paulo okay uh with the sword man it was a lot of fun and i'm just glad that uh we're making it back there um you know i think that uh, certain things uh prohibited us us from coming back uh sooner but you know We'll take what we can get and uh, we're looking forward to this trip excellent we're going to see you here and uh, thank you so much for your time dan it's been a pleasure yeah uh, would you send us uh, some greetings or an invitation to the people that is watching i rock absolutely um you know thanks for listening and uh we hope to see you out at the show uh we love playing and uh 99% guarantee to put on a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, and it's been a pleasure. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you.